Before we get into the video guys, if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, leave a like and tell me in that comment section what you're most looking forward to from Destiny 2. Can we reach 4000 likes? That would be absolutely epic if we could. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today I want to talk about the new Age of Triumph treasure packages, the treasures of the ages. So what do these contain? Well actually they contain quite a lot of goodies. Uh, although mostly older items which you may have missed out on from previous events, but they also contain some new things too. So firstly the older things obtainable. Okay, so if you are missing certain armors to complete older collections like the Spectre armor, the Desolate Taken armor, the Dawning armor or so on, these packages have a chance of dropping what you might have missed. But it ain't just previous live event armors you can obtain from these packages. You can also obtain them old emblems, ghost shells, emotes, festival of the lost masks, sparrows, sparrow horn, ships, basically everything. You can also obtain the Days of Iron Ornaments to apply to that Iron Lord gear if needs be. Also obtainable are all of the consumables previously obtainable from previous live events as well as Chroma. And that is basically all the older things obtainable from these new Treasures of the Age packages. So what about new things? What can we get? Okay, so across the board there will be new armour for all three characters. We haven't seen what it looks like yet, uh, but I do believe they promised within next week's uh, third and final stream it will be showcased to us. As well as this new armour, there are also seven new exotic weapon ornaments coming too. We have one for the Null and Beyond, the Necrochasm, the Vex Mythor class, the Touch of Malice, the Dragon's Breath, the Lord of Wolves and the Surus Regime. Now I'm pretty excited to see what these look like to be honest, I'm not going to lie. So as well as these new armors and exotic ornaments, there are also two new ships obtainable and three new shaders. The ships are called Order Theory and Needle and Thread and shaders are called The Blast of War, Barrage and Brush of Fire. So people, those are the contents of these new packages. We can see that the first two sections are guaranteed items from this package, but all the new stuff, there's only a chance it will drop, not a guarantee. So more about these packages, how do we obtain them? Well, there are two ways, grind or pay. So to grind for them, you'll have to complete three of the featured activities within the weekly rituals. You get one per week from the Sea of a Crisis Heroic playlist, one from the weekly story playlist, and another from the featured weekly crucible playlist. Now you can only obtain three per week across all three of your characters. You cannot obtain any more it seems, unless you want to part with your money. That real life dollar dollar. Now as always I have no problem with people spending their money on what they want. As I do the same thing, I buy these packages basically with every live event. What pisses me off though a little with this one is the fact that because there's so many obtainable things from these packages now, it means you are less likely to get the things you need, meaning you'll spend more money to get the items you desire. But that's just my opinion. So guys, there you have it, the treasures of the ages and all obtainable items from them will be obtainable on the 28th of March when the Age of Triumph hits. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always. Subscribe for Daily Destiny. Turn on them bell notifications so you never miss a video and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.